hey guys welcome back to my channel tonight i am going to go through my bedtime routine with my three-year-old daughter so um yes i did start my bath i'm going to show you a couple of products uh, we actually love using the honest products as well as the aussie products this is just the bubble bath in lavender it smells so good and it is very calming for her she immediately asked for her milk right after her bath so she can get to sleep. Yes, we still practice doing milk before bed. So this is the body wash that we use also from the Honest Company. Um, this is the Sweet Almond. We also use the lavender scent as well. Both are great and this is also actually a shampoo too. So here I'm just showing you some of her favorite new bath toys. I think my mom ordered them off of Amazon. I'll see if I can find the link for them. So today is not a hair wash day, but this is the shampoo that we use. Like I said, we use Aussie and it smells really great. And this is the conditioner that I use as well. Also smells super great. All right, so let's get clean now. Okay, so here I am just showing you the lotion that we use. Um, this one is not my favorite scent, the Apricot Kiss. My favorite is obviously the Sweet Almonds and the Lavender. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to use this one up. I got it on sale, so why not? So we are still working on potty training, but she is still in pull-ups, especially for overnight as a just-in-case. We actually prefer the Huggies brand because they have a quick tab on the side for easy changes. And the most important aspect of our bedtime routine is definitely brushing our teeth before we get to bed. So now it is officially bedtime. Yes, we still co-sleep in the bed together. My husband does work late nights. And of course we do some quick story time. She usually chooses at least two books before we go to bed every night. Okay, so this obviously is filmed on a different night when I happen to have makeup on. I was filming TikToks all day, so of course I took off my eyelashes and we're going to get right into the products that I use. So I happen to have these uh, refreshing wet cleansing towelettes, it's actually just Target brand. You can use even baby wipes if you have that on hand just to wipe off your face first. So fun fact about makeup wipes, they do not remove all of your makeup, it just literally scratches the surface of whatever makeup you have on. So to remove my eye makeup, I use this Sephora brand waterproof eye makeup remover. And I usually just get a cotton ball and I dip it on there. You have to shake it up first because it is separated with oil and the solution that's in there. And now moving on to the good stuff. This is called the Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. It's by First Aid Beauty. And I absolutely love First Aid Beauty, especially their moisturizer. But I actually ran out. And as every direction always tells you, pat dry your face. So that's what I'm doing here before I moisturize. And in case you couldn't tell, I am battling a pimple, so I did go ahead and pick up this Clearasil at Target recently. 
and it's a rapid rescue it's supposed to make your pimple disappear in four hours and sitting here about a week later it really doesn't work that well so I have been loving moisturizing with this proteiny polypeptide cream and this is by drunk elephant and I think this bottle is actually probably about $30 not sure they're super expensive though and because I made 2020 all about getting clear skin, I did pick up this Murad Invisiscar resurfacing treatment. And it's supposed to get rid of acne scarring within 8 weeks, so I'm still in the process of that. I will have an updated review on this product. Okay, and that is it for our bedtime routine. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and a look at our bedtime routine life. I will see you guys in our next vlog very shortly. Good night.